Welcome back to the channel, folks, and thanks for being here. And to my subscribers, thank you very much for being here and participating. I'm noticing a lot more comments now. And if you haven't subscribed, please do join the community here. Okay, today we're doing valve adjustment, rock arm adjustment, whatever you want to refer to it as. And you got to do it in the car. Obviously, you're not going to pull your motor out every time you want to do it. However, I'm doing it to show you on a stand so you can see up front what I'm actually doing. And then, of course, I'll be doing them in the car also, some other videos down the road when I get it out running. So, come on. So, what you're going to need is a 13 millimeter wrench. I use a short, stubby screwdriver. And you're going to need a feeler gauge that won't focus at six thousandths. Uh, some are four thousandths, so look up your own specs. Sorry about the mess. I'm rebuilding some old German VC CV joints, so look up your own specs. Some are four thousandths. So over to the motor here. Now, what you're going to do first, you're going to find your top dead center mark. This is seven and a half degrees. The dimple on the pulley to the rear of the car is your top dead center. I just put a mark on it. See how it's slightly dimpled? That's your TDC. That's the one you're looking for. Now, here's a picture to show you the different pulleys where the marks are. Now, once you've done that, you're going to take a straight edge or something, go right across from it, and make a mark on the other end. Just, it can be a temporary mark or whatever. It's nice when the degree pulleys are on because then you can see where the 180 is. So now that you've done that, let's roll. Now what your goal is to start out with is to get it at top dead center and on number one. So, I don't know if I'm on number one yet. I didn't pay attention. Yep, it is. Okay. Here's top dead center, the dimple to the outer ring, and it's right at the split of the case, okay? So once you've got it in that position, take your cap off. This is number one wire, at least on mine. It's an SVDA. I believe on Bosch 009, they're in a different position. They're here. I think they're here. Anyhow, what you do is pick this up. You're pointed right at number one, right where the number one wire would be. And it's spot on. So... We got that set up. What we do next is go to number one on the rocker arms. Now we are on the passenger side of the car if the engine was installed. And you have one and two over here. Okay. So what you're going to do, you're at number one, TDC, is check for the gap. Okay, this one's pretty close. I'm going to come around and readjust them after the video. I'm just doing it quickly so you're not bored. That one's tight. So what you're going to do, loosen up your locking nut. And then, of course, loosen the screw slightly. Get your filler gauge in there. And it's just like your gap in a spark plug. You just want a slight drag. Okay, after you do that, come on, wrench, get on her. Tighten and then recheck because a lot of times you'll turn that screw. All right, right on. Okay, now what you're going to do, the firing order on these is right on the motor 1432 which clockwise would be 1432 I'm gonna go counterclockwise you do it which order you want to do them in number two is here we're going to go counterclockwise and find that mark that we made 180 across or straight across sorry okay we are going to line it up Wow, it's a great at the case. And check to see if your rotor is pointing at number two. And it is, right on. You wanna see? You have one, 
four, three, two. But going counterclockwise, we just did one. We turned at 180. Now we should be at number two, and we are. Okay, let's go over there. This is number two. That one's got a slight drag. And that one's got a slight drag. Okay. Let's spin it again to the next one. Now you're going to go counterclockwise, a half a turn or 180, and look for your mark to line up on the case again. Watch your fingers. There's your mark right here on the outer ring. One, two, three. The rudder should be pointing right here, and it is. Make sure that's on. Okay. Now we are on the driver's side of the car if the engine was installed, and here's three and four. We are pointed at number three right now. Slight drag, and slight drag. I'm going to adjust this one regardless so you can see close up. Let's go to number four. We're going to go one more time counterclockwise. Oops, still in here? There you go. Okay, right at the split in the case. Number four should be right here. One, two, three, four. And we are right on. I want to move out of here. I'm weird, I know. Yep, right on. Okay, let's do number four. All right, let's put our feeler gauge in. That one's too tight. Take our locking nut, break it loose. Put a screwdriver in. Light drag. Always remember, it's better to have them a little loose than too tight. Remember that. Okay. Let's check it again after we tighten. Perfect. Let's do the last one. You can buy a tool. Instead of using a screwdriver and a wrench, they sell this tool here. I personally don't have one because I've never felt the need to. So that one's tight. Let's get our screwdriver in there. Right there. Recheck afterwards. Okay, that one's a little bit loose, so I'll end up snugging it back up. But you get the point in what I'm doing. I kept it quick and simple so you weren't bored and, you know, wore out from watching me. Uh, if you want, like I said, you can go clockwise and do it in the firing order of one, four, three, two. You know, but then you're going to be jumping one, four, three, two. Where I go counterclockwise and 99% of the people do with one, two, three, four. So... That's all there is to it. Every other oil change, go ahead and adjust your valves or whenever you see fit at your car. Just try to look up some stuff in a Bentley or John Muir's Idiot book or whatever it's called, how to keep your Volkswagen alive. Okay, that was that.
So that was VW air-cooled valve adjustment. Very easy to do, but very important to do. Keep up on them. Uh, they recommend every other oil change, but that's depending on your mileage. So look up your specs, look in your Bentley, how to keep your Volkswagen alive, Google. Of course, there's everything's there now. So look it up. Keep your valves adjusted. You have a happier motor. It'll idle better. All around, it'll be a lot more generous to do to the engine. All right, see you in the next video.